welcome to a new video. Now, I know you clicked on it, you know what it is. It's a Vizio soundbar. Um, let me tell you a story about me trying to find this particular soundbar. I've been trying to get my hands on this one for at least three months, um, maybe longer. Since I first saw it was available to buy and I just, I could not get it. Um, ratings.com, which is, is a cool place, it's, uh, they said they bought theirs at Costco. Um, they're in Canada though, so I'm in America and I couldn't find it. It said Sam Club, Sam's Club is the only place that sells it from the Vizio website. Best Buy sells it too, but you can order it now at Best Buy and you can get it like in, uh, I was showing them like three weeks out. Sam's Club's had it, they said they can get it, get it to me within a couple days. So I ordered it at Sam's Club. So here's the box. It is the Vizio M series 5.1 Dolby Atmos DTS X soundbar. Um, yeah, so this has been a kind of a challenge to get. Ever, ever since I did the Vizio L Elevate that I bought, yeah, I don't remember when I bought that one. Um, that one is downfall, it was four foot wide. So it doesn't fit into a lot of spots that people have for their speakers and surround and all that stuff. Great soundbar, by the way. The the Elevate was probably number one on my on my list. So I, I like Vizio products. So I thought, you know what? Let me get this one. Couldn't. So here we go. At Sam's Club, this price is two ninety nine. Um, Best Buy has it, I think, for three forty nine or three twenty nine. So Sam's Club is once again showing out of stock. So it is selling fast. Um, I'll link down both of them if I can find them. I'll link them down below. So um, we're going to um, step one, we're going to unbox it. We're gonna look at it and see what, what all comes in it. Um, I, Cause I really don't know. Uh, step two is we're gonna listen to some copyright free music. And then step three, we're gonna play some games. And then if I can get some clips of movies, I'll try to play it. But man, those are hard to show cause they're copyrighted. So yeah, um, first up, Turn around camera and see what the box says. Then we're gonna unbox it. Thanks for being here. Like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, here it is. I have it laid down. Uh, Vizio M series. We'll find the model number in a second. Uh, let's see. DTS. Precision and clarity. Woofers and tweeters. Now on this side, uh, of course you can see in there. On this side it says nine powerful speakers. 102 decimal sound pressure level, six inch wireless sub. It's a 15 on here, it's weird. Surround speakers, tweeters and woofers, Sitzer dialog channel, voice assistant input, dual stereo mode if you want to, front surround mode, 188 HDMI in, 188 HDMI ERC, which is nice, 4K HDR, Dolby Vision capable, Dolby Atmos, DTSX, DTS, Bluetooth, HDMI. So connection is 188 HDMI in. One eARC, digital optical auxiliary, auxiliary voice assistant input, and a USB. Cables included is one HDMI, optical, mini stereo, mini stereo with RC. Hmm, that's interesting. Now, this box has been through the ringer. Um, it really had a rough shipping because I mean, and there was like four labels here, one big label here I had to pull off from Sam's. But here's the sizes the sound bar is 36 by 2.2. 3.5 high, which is pretty good. Sub is 8.3, 9.9, 11.7. Surround speakers are 5.7 wide, 2.2 2 tall, and 3.5 deep. It's fragile. Model number is M51A. Made in China. Test, Tesla, Irvine, California. Hmm. Anyways, um, yeah. That's the size of the box right there, Vizio. Now here is the back of the box. It actually shows it all displayed out. Pretty nice and it shows immersive cinematic audio, precision two-way speakers, deep thunderous bass. Uh, we'll see here every word, adjustable dialogue enhancement. Ooh. Now let's unbox. So you lay down on its side. And there's a spot that says open here. You cut this tape. 
when it says open here, cut this tape. When it says open here, so you cut this tape, pull the flaps out, and this should flip up. There's four, sorry, there's four. I didn't show off this one. Open here, 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 here. Four spots. I would use like a knife. There's one. what you see when you first get it open everything kind of nice and neat all right this open these open accessories surround sound speakers subwoofer the sound bar, three foot wide, go wide angle. There it is. And that's all that's in there. Um, it's all empty now. So we'll put this back in here. And let's look at some stuff. Okay, first let's look at these surround sound speakers. on myself let's just cut this has the rubber feet on bottom, so if you put it like on the table or something, it'll sit. Um, I'm gonna have to um, screw it to my mount for my surround, so it does have a hole back there to do that. And then also um, color-coded to know which side you're going. So I don't know which side is blue. I assume this one's gonna look the exact same. This is probably gonna be great. That video is always doing the same. There's a mount screw hole for mounting onto a stand. There's that. And once again, you just put it down. I now have no idea which one's left and right. Now the sub does come with this little piece of paper here. Quick setup guide. You got connect, arc, connect the voice assistant, um, auxiliary input, or you have Bluetooth. There is no Apple um, AirPlay or Chromecast. Okay, let's get the sub open. So, same thing, it's got the tape. Oh, I'm gonna pull it out. Oh, there's the beefy. Oh, it's a beefy little sub. Look at that. It's a six inch speaker, and that's, that's pretty robust looking. A lot like the Elevate, which had an eight inch sub. So, let's just, um, hmm, an easy way to tackle this. Maybe go like this. Yeah. I like the size of this one. Like I said, I like the size of this one due to um, we're moving into an RV, so this is this is a perfect size. Uh, let me just tilt this up just a hair a bit. So. It's got feet on it that's, that's, man, rubber, that's nice. I'm really shocked at how nice this feels. Let's look, we'll see what the back's got for us. All right, so the back has a port here. Power has where you, the dogs go and do something. Um, blue, man, I can't. 
So blue is left, gray is right. Blue left, gray is right. That's what it says right here. L and R. Here's a, here's a power button or a connect button. Hard to see. It is power. So a nice little base port here. And let's take again, let's take, let's take another look at this uh, robust sub. And let's look and see what it says about power. So there it is. That's beefy. And then power wise, it puts 72 watts. So I wonder how much it really puts out. Made in China. Has the model number. There's the full model number. M51A-86. I'll put that in on my link on my link. 30 minute sound bar. That's nice. Alright, that's good. Impressive. Okay, now time for the sound bar itself. I switched to my wide angle lens, so hopefully you get us a better shot of this. A couple of tape there. Tape on. tape on the end a little bit. We're just gonna rip it. Rip it and rip it. So you can see there's the bottom, has in the four rubber feet. And looks like the mounting holes here to go into. I bet it came with the bracket that holds it on the wall like this. Let's flip this around. So up top you have the power input Bluetooth volume up and down. It says Dolby Atmos DTSX. On this side it says Vizio. And it's not like a deep black, it's like a charcoal. Here's the front. Now you can see some holes here. Um, I see quite a few speaker spots here, which is good. I don't even see them in camera. Mm, that is easy to see. Go back to let's go to the back side now. You know what? Let's switch to better camera. Okay, here's the back side. Now it says right here. Peel it here. For your connect voice assistant to auxiliary. I'm not gonna do that. My phone can do everything I need. Um, sound bar has an arc and then to the TV. But also has an has another has an input too, so that's good. Let's see if we can find some power. So let's let's try this one first. There we go. What does that say? Arc and N. Okay. Optical, USB. Let's pull off this one. See, there's that again. Auxiliary. Power wise. Um, it says 75 watts of power. There's we plug in power. Fairly, really nice. Really nice feeling. There we have it. Okay, here's the accessories box. I just cut the tape. Yeah, let's go back to white angle. There's a dog in the background. There we go. It's a lot of stuff. So, let's see what we get. Power cables. Sub sound bar. Let's see if I got that correct. Yep, sub sound bar, my bad. Um, here's for your satellite speakers that plug into your um, sub. Here's an HDMI cable. Here's the remote. Should be backlit. We will find out. Dural cell batteries. I love it when they give you name brand. An optical cable. Here's some Velcro for probably for cable management. That's nice. Uh, looks like instruction book there uh, what is this so we have an auxiliary then we have our auxiliary cables you should say an auxiliary to uh, red and white um, which if you want to plug in some older things to input sound which is nice like a I don't know like a record player I guess or something older even newer so this looks like mounts wall mount bracket so that's that 
And then here is the um, wall mount bracket for the sound bar. So there's sound bar. So I thought, so you would put this on the bottom and screw this into the wall and voila. Uh, so I assume this is probably for the, hmm, I really don't know, to be honest. Uh, I assume the surround speakers. I don't know. Maybe these go together. I'm not going to wall mount it, so I don't really have a need for it. So, but it's cool to know that it comes with something. Thank you, Vizio. So I think that's it. All right. Now let's do something else. Okay. So a couple things this soundbar does not do. It does not have the Apple AirPlay 2. Does not have Chromecast. Doesn't have support for the app. So it has no Wi-Fi. Nothing like that. It is what it is. Downfall I see is how do you do an update? So maybe there could be an update on the Vizio website and maybe you can download it to like a thumb drive and do it because it does have USB. So uh, maybe that's the way to do that, but I think it should be all right. Um, me, we're going to the RV life. We're not gonna have the best Wi-Fi anyway, so it's fine. Um, other things, I love Bluetooth. Bluetooth is still by far my favorite way of doing sound. So anyways, Let's, let's let's plug this thing in. So here's the soundbar put below my TV. As you can see, I got plenty of space because there, there's a big gap there. Um, it's pretty short. Um, huh. So I have the power cable here. I'm gonna plug it into this. I like to flip it over like this, and then at least on on this on the Vizio branded stuff I do. So here's the end. I'm gonna plug this thing into it. It's a pretty long cable. Which is nice. There's no dog barking outside. So when it does lay flat like this, the cable is pretty much hidden. Pretty much hidden from the front and you just let it go down. Me is going to go through the middle here and you go down. So there's one thing plugged in. Also, so, something else it does not do. It doesn't do 4K 120. So, if you have a PS5 like I do, um, and your TV can do 4K 120, um, you need to plug the PS5 or your Xbox or your high-powered PC, whatever it is, into your TV first, and just let eARC work. It does do eARC, so that's so it'll still give you the best sound. Just a little, a little tidbit. Now, me, I think I'm going to. I don't know what I plan on doing. I may just use ARC the whole time and just have one cable coming from the soundbar and go up. Chromecast and the TV, PlayStation 2 TV. We'll see. So now I'm getting the surround sound speakers hooked up. Now I didn't, I did say that I wasn't going to use the uh, wall mount brackets. This is for the surround sound. Um, I, 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 I have to use it due to, um, so Due to you have to screw this into the speaker and this clips on and this can be mounted. This has to mount to my stand. So I use the Monoprice stands. So this is a Monoprice stand right here. And uh, see if I can show this to you a little bit better. Um, it's in the wrong height. Is that set the wrong height? Let me flip the camera. So here's the Monoprice stand. And then here's the back of the Vizio surround. So on the surround, you just get this little speaker here, this little screw here, and oh, first off, put it on pretty even. It's just snug. There must be some things in the thread hole. There we go. Well, that's tight. So get a screwdriver, I guess. Tighten that up. And then for me, I have to mount this. So I put the screw that I have that came with my stand through there. I'm gonna put it through the middle hole. I didn't want it to go through the top hole. I'm gonna go through the middle hole. And then this back piece goes on like this. Fairly tight. And then your speaker just clips on. Voila, just like that. Fairly nice. And then 
that piece kind of covers up that. Um, of course, with this stand, the wire is supposed to go through here, but it will not fit the ends that on it, so the wire is still just going to have to hang. And then here's the back, how it looks. So, yeah, that's good stuff. I think that's pretty nice. So I got a surround there, and I got a surround there. Fairly decent placement. Now I'm gonna put the sub back here in this corner next to this surround sound speaker, just because this corner makes small subs like this sound even better. So I'm gonna keep it away from the wall and I'll put it pretty much like that. That's tiny. Okay, first off, I'm gonna plug in the sub. This is this one says subwoofer, power cable for subwoofer. Yeah. Decent size. So here we go. So here's the power cable back here. Plugs in this fine. Voila. Now here's the satellite cable for left, which is blue. This one's got more glue to it. There we go. Wow. This, this is a long cable. Probably like 20 feet at least. Yeah, I don't need to use all of that. So th this one here is what's going to go in the back of here. This one is what's going to plug into the back of the subwoofer, okay? So this one in the back of the satellite. This one to the sub. Okay, here we go. So this plug back here um hopefully i got it on the right color just like that um yeah and this one down here one's gonna be left it's this side voila now the select cable for the right speaker that off this is gray so remember back of the speaker back of the sub speaker sub speaker sub okay here we go this is gonna be back of the sub that's gray that's in there now i gotta run this to the speakers further away okay now i got the gray to the speaker voila Pull some cable back. Cool. You can always do some cable management to hide all that stuff. But he seems to be happy. So now I got the satellite plugged in. I could probably move that wire a little bit better. I got that one plugged in. Got the sub plugged in. It's not plugged into power yet. What they don't show you is that you know, there's a lot of speaker wire I have left over right there. And I wish the power plug for the sub was longer. It barely reaches to it. I have a plug here, but I'd rather go this way. I'm sweating now. Now, I know we don't plug in power until everything is plugged in. So I always wait. So I'm gonna get my PS5 plugged in and then I'll plug in the sound bar and I'll plug in the sub and everything should connect automatically. I almost forgot, before you do all of that, it's always best to have the remote out with batteries in it, okay? Get your batteries put into a remote before you do anything with the power. Because you want to be able to use the remote in case it asks you anything. So, use a name brand Duracell. And I was reading through the manual. Um, Duracell has a tag in there. They have a big label. So, I think they're paying for um, them to use their batteries in their products, which is smart. So, get this open here. Then we can look at this remote here. It's pretty simple. Hmm. There's a big gap between everything. I guess it's fine. On the back, it shows you your 
inputs. I wish I would focus on that better. Maybe I can touch the screen to focus on it. Ah, it didn't really work. Anyways, um, here's remote. We'll go over it more. So now we plug everything in. Here's the HDMI cable from Vizio. See how this has Vizio. Has Vizio's name on it. I thought it would. That's pretty robust. I'm gonna use this to plug into the TV and arc. It's a little dark back here, but always use your TV's arc. So find one that says arc. Mine's three. This is a Samsung Series Seven. So. Put in a cable. There we go. Okay, so where's that cable at? Right here. And then find the one that says to arc, which is the green one, by the way. Plug that in. And then that should be that should be it. Let's roll this down here. So still gonna have Cable, I, I can see a cable from the front. So let me redo this just up here. Just down here. And I'm just gonna come through along the side here. So now when, when I'm sitting on the couch, I will not be able to see the cables at all. I'll have to make sure it's lined up in the middle. That looks about right. Um, now I'm just gonna run this power wire. I don't know if you can see. No, you cannot see. I have the power wire here. I'm gonna plug it in now. So I see that one cable go through the hole, but that's for my camera soundbar. I plugged it in. Now it says searching. Now it's time to plug in the sub. Okay, sub is plugged into power. Now it's saying searching still. So I'm curious to know what it's gonna do now. Okay, so I got my big tripod set up so I can record TV a little closer. The AC's on because I'm, I'm hot right now. So I keep saying searching. So I'm gonna hit the TV power button and see if it finds something. I don't know what's going on. So here we go. Power. Searching. Still searching. See if it's backlit. Oh, it is. See, it's on auxiliary. Let's go to the arc. HDMI arc. Ooh. Oh, and it turned on the PlayStation. Nice. So we got it all switched over. It was on the HDMI 2. Um, so it picked up as a Dolby. So the TV's doing Dolby signal. So I'm gonna do some um, copyright free music just to see how it sounds from the out of the box. Frozen Summer. Sounds good. Let's try this one. My TV can't control it. Volume. So once the remote we have an EQ setting. Focus on the thing. There we go. So you got a movie. So go here. Movie. There's music. Here's direct. Wow. That sounds like a center channel picked in. Here's game. Let's try that direct again.
a spell I'll never tell Yeah, I like you, that's for sure I never have to close the door It's been a long time, a year before And the music is so bad Instrumental, come on. Walking away, your words are lost on me. It's taking everything not to turn around. So it's the next day. So we watched the movies and stuff in uh, between the last video and this one. Um, it's okay. Uh, I didn't think it was the greatest thing. So, um, but now it's time to play some games. So I ran into a problem with the PS5 plugging to the TV. There's a little bit of an audio sync issue. Um, so we're gonna play games with it still plugged into the TV. And if there's an audio sync issue, then I'm gonna plug it back in directly into the soundbar. See if that fixes it. So let's start playing um, some Call of Duty first and let's see how this goes. Call of Duty. Okay, here's some Call of Duty. Nuketown has not played. Team Deathmatch. Best of luck, Sumter. The oh, folks back home are counting on you. Oh, come on. There's a delay. Destiny. Yeah. Okay, 
now we're trying out some Destiny. Let's see, watch. There's always your feet, your feet land, and there's a delay. It's kind of annoying. So sometimes you can go here. I am at your service. His lips didn't match that. I'm talking. So. Very good. A prepared soldier is. Okay, here's some destiny. Gameplay of destiny, not just walking on a tower. Let's see how the delay is. So it's halfway. Oh, that's worse. Um, let's just go all the way to max, see what happens. Oh no. So let's go back down. Now, on video, it may not look like much but when you're playing games and the sound is a little off it, it's really maddening so i'm going to plug the ps5 directly into the soundbar and the soundbar to the tv see if that fixes my sync issue okay now we're plugged directly into the soundbar to tv let's see what happens okay so here we go now i'm gonna shoot a wall that okay this works better it's spot on now down the line Let's go talk to somebody and see if the, the lip sync is correct. Come now, speak your mind. No, yeah, that's all. That was weird. Hmm. Here we go, let's hear some surround. Okay, so that's playing games and stuff. So with the PS5 plugged in directly to the Vizio soundbar into the TV, that worked the best. Um, I've never had good luck on soundbars that are plugged into the TV and then everything plugs into the TV and the sound goes that way. It could be just me and my TV. It's a Samsung Series 7. If you have a new eART TV, maybe, maybe it's better. So overall, uh, I think the soundbar sounds fine. Uh, it's got good, good bass. Um, the lag is what may affect you, uh, the decision on buying it, but um, it sounds, I think it sounds good. It's loud, and when you can turn it up, and it sounds good being loud. So, for a price of $209, I 
the Vizio M51 is, is really good. Um, gets a thumbs up for me. Still not going to be my pick. Um, the kids listened to it last night and they're like, the receiver and my big speakers are better. Well, I mean, that's, that's just the way it is. So if you're going from a soundbar to soundbar, this one will sound good. The bass, I'm really surprised that a six inch sub can put out that much bass. I'm really surprised. So thanks for being here. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next one. Bye-bye.